Hi, I'm Laura and today I've decided to do cow print nails. At least that's the plan. Following on from my clear base coat, I put on a white polish as a base. This white polish I'm using today is much thinner than I'm used to. So not only did it go everywhere and completely flood my cuticles, it also meant I had to apply three coats in all to make sure it was, you know, thick enough. With each layer that I put on it did look better and better, even if I was still messy in between each layer and had to spend almost as much time cleaning up as I did putting the polish on. I really was trying to be careful. I don't think it looks too bad now, really. With all the layers on and all the tidying up done, it almost looks like I know what I'm doing. After my last go at nails went so poorly, I made a real effort this time to make sure I knew exactly what I was doing before I put it onto my nails, which meant using my new nail mat. I did a few layers of white in one of the plain circles just to have a go at doing my cow print, and while that was drying I also used one of the nail outlines because I thought maybe I'd be a bit ambitious and try doing a cow face. I used one of my black nail polishes that isn't quick drying, so I put some of it onto the mat so I could easily access it. This brush is not going to do what I wanted to do, is it? Okay, let's try the brush that actually came with the nail varnish. Okay, yeah, this brush seems to be working a little better. It's still not quite the look I'm going for though. This to me is a screen cow print. It says black jelly beans on white. Okay, onto the third brush now, and I think I've got the most control with this one. Alright, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this brush makes my cow print look like cow print. So let's risk it on my real life nails. Feeling cautiously optimistic at this point that it looks like cow print. Let's hope I can repeat this on the other four fingers that I'm doing cow print on. At this point I hadn't considered the thought of having to go over the black twice, but as I was doing it I could see that the black was looking a little watery and thought I might need to do another layer. At this point I don't think I've got very good control over the sort of small details I want to do on my nails in the future. I'm pretty limited by this, which is why I'm sticking to blobs right now. If it was anything more intricate than a blob, I, I just don't think I could do it. I really hope it'll come with practice. See, and now I can't even get a blob right. Great, and now this nail looks like a demented smiley face. Okay, pinky finger, best for last. Hopefully. Alright, I've finished my first go round of the cow print and I'm not quite satisfied yet so let's have another go I think at just adding a little bit more detail and going over the black splobs splobs? Hmm. 
Right, so while my actual nails were drying, I decided to have a go at trying out the cow face. Now, I don't often wear pink, but in looking through my collection, I did find a pale pink that I thought would be great for the cow's muzzle. Muzzle? Snout? Oh my god, what do you call a cow's nose bit? I'm going to have to look it up. Okay, after consulting with several experts in the field, I have deduced that the nose area of a cow is just called its nose. Alright then. After putting some of the detail on, I felt that my cow's nose was a bit too pale with the white, and that you wouldn't be able to see a good enough distinction, so I tried it with this darker pink that I also found. Now for the real thing, starting with painting this cow's nose. I feel I should be giving this cow a name instead of just saying this cow over and over again. Okay, I can't think of a cow name. Maybe I should name it after one of my cows in Stardew Valley. Oh no, wait, all my cows in Stardew Valley are named after characters from How I Met Your Mother. Not really traditional cow names, are they? Okay, the cow's muzzle is a little wonky, but I can't imagine every single cow's nose looks exactly straight all the time, so really I'm just going for realism here. I used the large end of one of my dotting tools to create this cow's eyes. After I dotted the eyes, I used the same dotting tool to continue making black patches all on my cow's head. I wouldn't say this was any more efficient than doing it with the little brush like I did before, but at this point I had already cleaned my nail art brush and I didn't want to have to go to the effort of cleaning it again. I had really overdone the pink layer on this cow's nose, so it took forever to dry. And when I got round to doing the nostrils, I found out it still wasn't quite dry enough. Once all the designs were done, finished and dried out, I covered them all with a thick top coat. I really tried to resist this time and make sure that when I put the top coat on, it was properly dry. And I think I did it right because this time I had no smudging. The final stage in creating any look is the cleanup, and I just used regular nail varnish remover and different tools to try and tidy up the edges. I am not good at this part. Look, Mom, it's a cow. And now we're finished! Look at this! I have nails that look vaguely like they have a theme! This design was quite a lot of fun to do, even with its simplicity. And to be honest, after the firework fail, I really needed a win at this point. And my confidence is sufficiently boosted. So, if you like this video and subscribe, maybe you'll get to see my next attempt at trying to make something happen on my nails. Bye!